So I'm rebuilding a quadrajet here, as you can tell from all this. But I um, wanted to show you guys a quick little thing. So this uh, quadrajet originally came off of a 454. Um, it was uh, for a motorhome. Uh, they ended up going with a different uh, carburetor. I got this one for free. Um, when I converted my 82 Trans Am um, to mechanical distributor and mechanical carburetor, um, I ended up putting this one on it and the car ran and it ran all right. It was just really, really difficult to um, get the timing, or not the timing, the, the idle. Uh, the idle was like really erratic. Um, no matter how low I went on the on the butterflies, it would never go below, let's say, 1200 RPM. I've adjusted the choke, I adjusted everything, and it still wouldn't uh, function properly. So, after doing some research, what I discovered is that apparently these carburetors can be used for almost any vehicle, but they are, I guess, size limited. So, since this one came off of a 454, it's got these, um, let me see if I can flip it around. It's got these ports right here. So it's got one there and it's got one, I can't even tell. Let me see if I can get a flashlight here. Where is my flashlight? Well, whatever, It's there's another port in there. You might not be able to see it, but uh, yeah, somewhere in there. There's a port in there and there's a port right there um these ports apparently um, they're called bypasses so it lets more air going through here um so the problem that i'm having is no matter how closed these butterflies were which i had them literally to the the, the max that they would close i still couldn't get the idle down so you see that little little notch right there right down there well that little notch um it's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to be like a little square. And then you can adjust it. And as you adjust it, it opens it up. It makes it either longer or shorter. But um, this one, due to the motor that it came on, these bypasses were massive. And they were just letting tons of air through them. So I couldn't uh, get my idle correct. So after doing some research, I uh, watched a couple videos. I ended up finding people that would like plug these up. They'd like shove epoxy in them or like I saw one guy stick a wire in it and then kind of just jam it in there so that he still had some bypass, but not all of it. But this is on a 305, so I don't need, it's not a big engine. It's got a stock cam. It doesn't need any more air than what I can control with the butterflies. So what I did is I'm tapping and drilling this instead of using epoxy. That way, if for whatever reason I need to go back or it needs to go on a different motor, I don't have to try to drill through a bunch of epoxy and then chisel it out. So what I did is I drilled it to quarter 28, and then I have this kit here that has a bunch of like set screws. Uh, this is, I, I use it for work, but uh, it'll work for this. So I grabbed a couple of these. Uh, these are, I believe, quarter 20, 28, I think. Um, I also have the coarser ones, but I just thought that that bit might be a little too harsh on that um, aluminum. So I went with the, the smaller thread. So this is what I'm working on right now. And then I did have to, these have like a little bit of a tip, like a knurled tip so that they lock onto the axle that they are supposed to hold onto. Well, I got rid of that because it doesn't need it. I'm going to use some Loctite. And then let me see if I can do it here on camera. Get in there. All right. As you can see, see it threaded in there real easy. And then it even locks down fairly snug. And then, uh, let me see, focus. You can see it's flush with that. Actually, it's a little concave. It's a little deeper than it should be, but that's better. I don't want that on the top, um, I don't know what you called it, the body to stick out at all so yeah if you're gonna do this I would recommend just take it slow use a good clean bit um, do it by hand 
Um, I'm using my drill, but I've done this a lot with other things, so I know how to feel the bite. But uh, if you're going to do this for the first time, I would recommend doing it by hand. Um, and yeah, quarter 20, uh, 28s. And then I'm going to do this one up here. So this one up here. I'm going to do that one as well. Um, I actually, I'm not even going to drill these out anymore. The bit's sharp enough that it'll actually start cutting from this size. Um, and then you just, like I said, take it real slow, back out, use some lubricant, um, and do whatever you need to do. But um, I'm going to do that to that one as well. And then I'm going to see if I can get this. See if I can get this idle to go down. Um, of course, I'm going to clean it all up as well. It needs a new clean, a good cleaning and... All oh, these are original gaskets from like 19, like 80 something. So I'm gonna replace all that. But yeah, quick tip: if you have any questions, just post them and I'll answer them. Thanks.